The term home on wheels is recognized as a vanity van by most, if not all the people of our country, which is totally incorrect. And we desperately need to stop calling a caravan a vanity van. The term vanity van stands for a vehicle which is solely for vanity purpose, meaning it's used to rest between shots or to change between shots. Whereas a caravan is a fully functional home away from home on wheels. And if you are keen to know the difference between a vanity van versus a caravan, then this video is for you. Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motrum Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all thing home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to an election campaign vehicle to food truck and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. You name it and we can most definitely build it. So throughout the years, we've been very vocal about how a vanity van and a caravan are two different terms. And today, we will be walking through not one, but two of our conversions that are not caravans. So without further ado, let's walk through this conversion. Perfect. Both the conversions are based on the same base vehicle, a 4020 Tempo Traveler. Both the conversions have the exact same floor plan. The only difference is of the interior and exterior color scheme. One is painted in a cobalt blue and another in a deep silver color. Now you'll notice, unlike most of our caravans, this one looks just like a normal Tempo Traveler. And that is because there's no fascia work done on this or this vanity one. You must have seen our conversions such as Mastodon or Willow, which have the front fascia. And you could tell that just a little bit of fascia work adds a lot of beauty to the exterior. So the reason for that is because the client who got this asset customized did not want to offer any kind of exterior customization because the purpose of this asset was only for the interior vanity. And because of that, you can tell that there's nothing much on the exterior that we have done. We we have plain Jane exteriors through and through. So we have our driver's side, concealed windows on the sides, then there's the fuel tank, and now we are onto the rear of the vanity, which is where we have our AC's compressor as well as a tire stored up. I'll just give you a quick look, and then we are going to move to the co-driver side of this vanity which is where we have the back end of the bathroom area so if anything goes wrong with the actual bathroom or the commode unit then this is where you need to rectify the issue at there's no awning on the side and that pretty much wraps up our exterior walk through this conversion look how quickly we completed the exterior walk through of this vanity and that is because the exterior amenities of a vanity and a caravan differs by a lot because a the purpose of vanity is just to have it stationed on any set location particularly a set where we have the water where we have the food and there's also hotels etc so the only purpose of this is to change the clothes in between shots or get rest between the shots however a caravan apart from its interior floor plan that is there to serve you off the grid with a home like comfort it is also having many kind of exterior customizations or exterior upgradations and additions such as suspension which suspension is another thing that can be added to the vanity concept as well but then there's hydraulic there's an outdoor kitchen area there's an outdoor shower area there's an awning that you can opt for and chill and enjoy the scenic view of whatever off-grid locations you're planning to travel to now enough rant about what a caravan is let's hop on inside this vanity right after we enter in we have our first area which is the lounge space now you'll notice that this sofa only has an under storage there is no bedding area no space to lie down whatsoever because the purpose of this asset is only for vanity to me it looks like a very empty space because walking through all these conversions my brain is wired up thinking that there's going to be some kind of dining conversion bedding conversion and whatnot anywho we are going to move to the sun 
and the details which in here we have a static ac which is a split ac again this is something that client wanted to opt instead of going for our customized static acs that we usually provide then we have our auto ac there is a music system a smart tv smart music system the screen then on the floor we have vinyl flooring now up here we have the charcoal paneling again this is a little costly in comparison to mica but you can tell by the finish of it and plus it is a very lightweight material engraved in the charcoal paneling we have the led lights which are going from the front to the back adding to the overall look of this vanity and you already know this that these lights including all the lights are functioning through a 12 volt dc power supply now moving to our next space which is the bar area or the pantry space so again there is no kitchen area there's no burner no sink we just have a plain countertop there's an acrylic bar top as well we have storage space then there's a microwave a fridge more storage space on the inside opposite of the bar space we have the vanity area this is where the glam happens we have a big mirror then we have vanity lights behind this we have some storage space and more storage space underneath so this is what defines this vanity now moving to the last section of this vanity van which is the bathroom area during the discussion stage the client had mentioned how they wanted to have a really big bathroom area even though there is no shower in this bathroom space and the reason for that is because most of the changing of clothes all the makeup is going to happen here in this room when most of the members are outside in the vanity space you already know it the bathroom has been built using frp which stands for fiber reinforced polymer meaning we have reinforced multiple fiber polymers to make this uni body setup it is a clean design it is a lightweight design and it is the USP of Motorhome Adventures along with the pneumatic activating valve based commode. You must have seen something similar to this in the airplane. Now what this stands for as the term refers, pneumatic meaning air, it uses the pressure of the air from the vehicle overall to shut off or open the valve. This one particularly uses less than 300 ml of water per flush, which if you compare to the commode at your house, it uses 5 to 50 liter of water per flush. Now moving to some other amenities such as the toothbrush holder, soap holder, the tissue paper dispenser we have an exhaust now the exhaust the lights as well as this vanity light behind me it all functions through a 12 volt dc battery operated setup and that does it for this walk through the conversion And there you have it. Now, next time, if somebody refers to a caravan as a vanity van, you can show them this and other of our conversions to let them know how the two concepts are very, very different. And if knowing the difference between caravan versus vanity van, knowing how you can travel to an off-grid area, an isolated area, without having to worry about where you are going to halt next, in which restaurant you're going to eat up next, and if at all you're going to get a hotel when you travel further or not, if these things have got you keen on what the life of caravanning means, then you can always rent or book a caravan through our website www.motorhome.co in. We have both self and chauffeur driven rentals. We have both customized as well as curated getaways for people who do not want to stress out about planning or making a trip happen. And if you are interested in getting a trailer, a vanity van, a food truck, even a salon on wheels or a playroom on wheels built, then you can always reach us through our website www.caravanconversion.com. 
as always all the details are going to be mentioned in the description box below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up because it means a lot to us it helps us grow and it tells the algorithm to share this content with more people subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun travel and caravan videos in the home away home on wheels motorman adventures signing off Oh, 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 oh,